The Railway Children is a children's book by Edith Nesbitt, originally serialized in the London magazine during 1905 and first published in book form in 1906. It has been adapted for the screen several times, of which the 1970 film version is the best known. The Oxford Dictionary of National Biography credits Oswald Barron, who had a deep affection for Nesbitt, with having provided the plot. Plot Summary the story concerns a family who moved to Three Chimneys, a house near the railway, after the father, who works at the Foreign Office, is imprisoned after being falsely accused of spying. The children befriend an old gentleman who regularly takes the 915 train near their home. He is eventually able to help prove their father's innocence, and the family is reunited. The family take care of a Russian exile, Mr. Schepensky, who came to England looking for his family and Jim the grandson of the old gentleman, who suffers a broken leg in a tunnel. The theme of an innocent man being falsely imprisoned for espionage and finally vindicated might have been influenced by the Dreyfus Affair, which was a prominent worldwide news item a few years before the book was written. The Russian exile, persecuted by the Tsars for writing a beautiful book about poor people and how to help them, and subsequently helped by the children, was most likely an amalgam of the real-life dissidents Sergei Staniak and Peter Kropotkin who were both friends of the author. Adaptations The story has been adapted for the screen six times to date, including four television series, a feature film, and a made-for-television film. Equals BBC Radio Dramatization equals, E. Nesbitt's perennial favorite was adapted for radio by Marcy Cohen and produced by John Taylor. It stars Paul Copley, Timothy Bateson and Victoria Carling and was first heard in 1991. The play is available on CD. Equals BBC television series equals, the story was adapted as a television series four times by the BBC. The first of these, in 1951, was in eight episodes of 30 minutes each. A second adaptation was then produced which reused some of the film from the original series but also contained new material with slight cast changes. This had four episodes of 60 minutes each. The BBC again revisited the story with an eight-episode series in 1957 and a seven-episode series in 1968. The 1968 adaptation was placed 96th in the BFI's 100 Greatest British Television Programmes poll of 2000. It starred Jenny Agutter as Roberta and Gillian Bailey as Phyllis. Of all the TV adaptations, only the 1968 version is known to be extant. The rest may be lost. Equals film equals. After the successful BBC dramatization of 1968, the film rights were bought by the actor Lionel Jeffries, who wrote and directed the film, released in 1970. Jenny Agutter and Dinah Sheridan starred in the film. The music was composed, arranged and conducted by Johnny Douglas. Equals 2000 version equals. In October 1999, ITV made a new adaptation, as a made-for-television film. This time Jenny Agutta played the role of the mother. Others in the movie include Jemima Rupa, Jack Blumenor and J.J. Fnild. The railway filmed was the Bluebell Railway using some of the railway steam engines and rolling stock and NBRC class 0 a Euro 6 a Euro 0 Maud, from the Bonners and Kinner Railway. Equals stage versions equals, in 2005 the stage musical was first presented at Seven Oaks Playhouse in Kent, UK, with a cast including Are You Being Served star Nicholas Smith as The Old Gentleman, Paul Henry from Crossroads as Perks and West End star Susanna Fellows as Mother. Music is by Richard John and book and lyrics by Julian Wolford. The score was recorded by TERJ Records and the musical is published by Samuel French Limited. A new stage adaptation written by Mike Kenny and directed by Damien Cruden was staged in 2008 and 2009 at the National Railway Museum, York. The adaptation starred Sarah Quintrell, Colin Tarrant and Marshall Lancaster, and featured a sterling single steam locomotive which, while not actually in steam, entered the stage on the tracks originally leading into the York Goods Station, in which the Station Hall section of the museum is now situated. The stage was constructed inside the large tent outside the Goods Station, which is usually reserved for some of the working locomotives of the museum. The project was set up by York Theatre Royal, 
and involved its younger members in the production. This adaptation then transferred for two seasons to two disused platforms at Waterloo International Railway Station. The amateur rights now allow local amateur companies across the UK to produce the play. A Toronto production in 2011 was staged at Roundhouse Park, home of John Street Roundhouse National Historic Site by Mervish Productions. A temporary 1,000-seat theatre was built at the base of the CN Tower, around the railway tracks a euro with the audience seated on either side a euro, and at a euro o star at a euro a 66-ton vintage steam locomotive. The production at Waterloo won an Olivier Award for Best Entertainment in 2011. In 2011, Nesbitt was accused of lifting the plot of the book from the house by the railway by Ada J. Graves, a book first published in 1896 and serialized in a popular magazine in 1904, a year before the railway children first appeared. In both works the children's adventures bear remarkable similarities. At the climax Nesbitt's characters use red petticoats to stop the train whilst Graves has them using a red jacket. The stage adaptation, produced by the National Railway Museum and York Theatre Royal, reopened in December 2014 in a new theatre behind London's King's Cross Station. In popular culture, a 200-metre footpath in Lee, Greater London is named Railway Children Walk to commemorate Nesbitt's novel of the same name. The short walkway connects Lee High Road to Grove Park, a nearby public park. A similar path is also located in Oaks in Hope. References External links The Railway Children at Project Gutenberg, HTML text at Indiana, free audiobook from LibriVox, 1957 TV series at the Internet Movie Database, 1968 TV film at the Internet Movie Database. 1970 Film at the Internet Movie Database, 2000 TV Film at the Internet Movie Database, British Film Institute Screen Online, Railway Children Musical